Hey, welcome back again to new video. Guys, this is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is me, Lavanik Sada Poco F3 Custom ROM Reviews. Back with new video, Matrix OS 10.5.0 official G apps version. This is based on Android 14. May 5th, 2024 is the security patch. Vendor security patch is May 5th, 2024 again. Kernel user is 4.19.246. No kernel has been used. Build date is May 16, 2024. This is how the results. I mean the information about this ROM. This is typical home screen and adapter. And these are the quick settings toggles. In the edit section, there are few more toggles here. And this is how it looks like. Automatic brightness sensor and other toggles are working fine. Dolby Atmos is also given here. Now coming to app settings, like you will get this dialer. There is an inbuilt call recording feature. As you can see, if I can show you and it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call that's a good thing and this auxio if you want to play any music or any folders of media that will be beneficial and camera application share you get a hyper os camera with like integrated guys which is good thing in my opinion all these things you need to download everything is working fine in this camera application and if you want to use any gcam port that is also possible with this and dolby atmos again you will get this kind of dolby atmos support this is the basic apps game space is given let me add this into the bgmi and make it into performance mode that's how it is for example i want to use whatsapp in battery saving mode we'll go into game space again we'll add whatsapp and go into settings and prefer mode into battery like that you can actually use this game space that will be lot more beneficial again we'll show some results what i got in this particular rom there's a geek score 918 single score and 2564 is the multi-score links 4.19.246 no kernel has been used here we'll go into gallery it will be easy for me yes and gallery application again you get this basic options there nothing kind of a MIUI camera or anything like that 7 lakhs 18 1893 is the score what i got in android and the version i am using is 10.2.5 and cpu gpu memory ux scores are like this 5.7 degrees celsius is the temperature rise and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing in this me 11x guys using this matrix as 10.5 and basic entry rate is it is profile match both getting passed but device is not certified you need to consider that and DRAM information again uh sjr 10 support is there level one certified watching ott applications is not a problem here i have having 200 mbps atl fiber connection and it's pulling up to 250 mbps which is good these are read write speed test with numericals and graphicals you can compare with other roms and the biggest downside is this one charging slowly even after a long time as you can see during 1052 it is showing 67 percent and 1059 it is showing 76 there is a kind of fast charging but it is not showing charging or rapidly i can say it's up to 18 watts it is supported that's how it looks like we'll go into settings here very simple and very good actually and matrix about matrix you get all these things buttons customizations are given here there are plenty actually and coming into lock screen again custom clock screen meant plenty are given here depth of wallpaper and again subject you can actually select them battery information temperature unit battery bar when charging always show battery bar those things you can actually customize them in for the weather information and again gestures power menu other things you can customize them in the miscellaneous settings you will get high developer status for individual apps you can select them unlock high fps games in bgma is given unlimited photo storage in google photos is also given swipe to screenshot and other things you can check out on the screen quick settings toggles again you get plenty of options here battery percentage and other things you can check out these brightness slider options give a style again panel style plenty of customizations in terms of sound again you get pulse notifications here volume steps other things you can check out volume panel style also you can actually change them for example currently this is usb i will change it to realme us style it takes some time as you can see this is how it looks like and status bar again 
there are customizations regarding status bar you can actually enable color icons and logo everything you can do it from here battery power other padding everything you can customize from here user interface again you get plenty of customizations as we see in any of the custom rom now moving to actual settings like battery battery is fine in this summers the battery life is going to be better and better and you also get these options here battery saver extreme battery saver is also given in this particular rom sound and vibration basic settings special audio is given only in wired and vibration haptic patterns has been given direct sound enhancer you will get it hi-fi audio system and headphone type and sound preset and smart scene selection is also given here into the display again you get all the basic necessity options like dark theme once you enable that it will be not in the pitch black condition true amulet dark mode just enable that it will be in pitch black condition which is very much essential in any of the custom rom that's how it is colors again you get plenty of options here and live display is given as you can see color calibration rgb strength you can adjust and refresh rate adaptive refresh rate is given tap to wake tap to sleep and other options you can see dc dimming high brightness mode all these options are given and working fine and location means the google maps are working fine security and privacy you get both face and fingerprint unlock and app lock is also pre-installed no need to install any third party application this is the fingerprint unlock speeds here and this is the face unlock it should work yeah face unlock you can add modern mode patterns i mean modern mode face copies then it will be easy to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock guys as of now it's not opening uh i can say it's not a bug you need to add more and more times then it will be easy to unlock your smartphone and coming into other options like system again you get gestures here in the gestures navigation mode you also get adjustment of pill length and radius really required for me at least because if you want to use dual handed mode you need to enable that the one handed mode sorry not a dual handed as you can see now it is easy to use if it is very tiny and embedded within the screen it's a little bit difficult to operate those options again system updates has been given but i recommend to flash through record to check out the flashing method firmware used everything you need to check out in the description if you're still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular device follow that and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and also like the video guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos let's see bgm how it handles in this particular rom let's see how it actually handles and the graphic settings is so extreme plus options has been given you need to enable them and people think that if i change kernel and if i change roms i will be getting experience like iphone no no guys that will not going to happen you need to remind yourself that your smartphone is powered with snapdragon 870 don't expect kind of uh, more than that if it is not stable there are several factors not just the kernel kernel will just make you efficiency i mean the thermal related issues can be solved using kernel it will not make entire day and night difference in the gameplay or anywhere not just here in every aspect kernel doesn't make huge difference instead firmware which you flash makes a entire difference for example if 5g is not working in this particular rom if you flash to older firmware like me f14 that will make a huge difference not the kernel you need to note that i mean i'm not saying that you will not make complete difference but you are thinking like it will change this smartphone into iphone that is not gonna happen that's my intention and the gaming experience in this particular rom is really really good as you can see i'm speaking respect to 90 fps case i'm not saying anything extra here as you can see even in the counter attacks it was actually fine no lag here it all depends upon the internet connection what you use and how all the controls you have managed and the opponent players everything matters guys not just the kernel of the rom you use we'll come back here that's the gaming experience and everything is fine here in this matrix so if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section 
and the only thing i did not like is it is not showing charging rapidly overall it's a good drum i will recommend it to use it as a daily driver we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling baba for now